internet and welcome back to Geek Yant. And on this episode, we are continuing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collectibles figures. And in this series here, um, I went ahead and did a little bit more collecting than I typically do. And my partner in crime here, Miss Ray, can uh, vouch for that. Uh, we're going to be discussing the 2012 Nickelodeon series. Now, this series was probably one of the more popular ones in this day and age outside of the classic 1989-1990 classic cartoon. Um, this one actually is a pretty interesting series because it loosely adapts the Mirage comics with the comedy of the 1990 classic cartoon. So basically you've got a mix between one that's not too dark, one that's not too comedic, but it's right there. Now this series is the first in its line where it's done completely digitally. Um, what I mean by that is it's not hand drawn, it's all done by computers, kind of like the TMNT movies, but it's a little bit more blocky than that. So let's just go ahead and get right into the collection here. So the first one up is Leonardo. And here I do have sets. I have pairs of the turtles and I'm going to show you what they are. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and so I'm just going to go ahead and hold them up together here. So you can see here, this one here was the first one that was released. The very first series one for the 2012 TMNT series. This one here, as you can see, he's got some repaint. What's called in the business, it's called redeco. Uh, redecoration, so they're basically putting in more detail. Uh, you can see the eyes are a little bit different. Um, and here's some close-up shots right here for you. So you can go ahead and see that um, the bandana is a little bit more fine-tuned on the repaint. I believe it was Series 6. Uh, his knee pads are colored differently. Um, the weapons are still the same and all that, so you can see the differences between them. Same articulation points, same amount of movements across the board, uh, just the packaging is a little bit different on that. Uh, next one up here, we got Donatello. Uh, so you can see here on the purple package, this was the very first one that was released back in 2012. Then, uh, I don't know exactly what year it is, uh, until I look. This guy here was released in 2016, so it took about four years for them uh, to go ahead and put more detail in. Um, because in the animated show, uh, they looked like this when they were getting ready to fight and take down some bad guys. This variant with the, the pupils and the eyes actually colored in, this is what they're normally looking like throughout, you know, the normal day. So you can see here in the actual details here, you know, you got purple knee pads, elbow pads, uh, same decor. He's got a nice painted gold belt buckle uh, across his chest, uh, comes with a ton of accessories. And what I like about this series too is that it adapted um, from the actual retro... Uh, figures that Playmates did back in the day and also on my previous video from the classic uh, collection remake. Next up here we got Michelangelo. So you can see here the complete difference between the two. So when they're getting ready to fight Mikey kind of looks a little bit more gritty and dark but when he's actually being old Mike he just looks like a classic teenager. And you can see here also on the back um, the different uh, depictions of him. This is a classic Michelangelo. You can't go wrong with that. Um, but the amount of close-ups here, again, you got the orange knee pads, orange elbow pads, uh, same amount of accessories, you know, double pair of nunchucks. The only thing I don't like about this one, because they're called basic figures, is that Michelangelo does not have metal on his nunchucks. So what that means is they are more prone to breaking, um, which is not the end of the world because I'm an inbox collector, but for somebody who wants to go ahead and give it to their kids or anything, uh, they will break and I've seen some modifications on Michelangelo's nunchucks. Alright, last but not least for the turtles themselves, we got Raphael. And this one here is actually, I like the shade of green that they put on them. So you can see here, since he is considered the muscle of the group, he's got a cracked front shell, uh, he's bulkier, he's got more muscle mass on him, and also, you know, and also he's got that classic evil, not evil, more like menacing type grin, um, that's always found on Raphael, so you really cannot go wrong uh, with having that guy on your team. 
So the next one up here, I got two more uh, outside of this one. So third but not least is Master Splinter. Now, when I was watching this show, I did not like the way that this Splinter looked. Um, just because, as you can see, he looks more human than a rat. Um, but on the plus side of that, he's actually more athletic. He can move around a lot more. Um, but when it comes to the portrayal of Splinter, this is my absolute least favorite. And I am not afraid to say that. Um, just because if you compare um, this Splinter to this Splinter, or this Splinter to this Splinter, there it's, it's day and night. So, um, this one, I can't have the Turtles without Master Splinter. That's just like go into playing baseball without a baseball mitt you got to have an actual uh, teacher or actual tools of the trade to help and develop your team so this is master splinter uh, for the TMNT series here and last but not least good always has to be reciprocated with evil so who is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles main villain you guessed it it is the shredder now I went ahead and picked up two shredders I don't know why I'm a collector, so I have to have two, like I mentioned earlier in my er earlier videos. W collectors, if there's one minor difference or one difference, we have to have them both. So right here on this one, uh, this was the very first uh, Shredder that came out in the line. Uh, and on this one, I believe it was Series 14, I believe, on this one. But the main difference here, quite visually, is that on this one, his helmet can't come off. He is a, a bigger sculpt, so he is more, you know, so he is bigger. Um, the amount of weapons and accessories are more available in the first one versus the second one. So you can see here um, the detail that shows up in the actual, you know, face of the Shredder when it was demasked. Uh, also on the mask Shredder, um, you really can't see his uh, scar marks, but... I prefer this one over this one just because uh, when it looks, when you see Shredder, he's a menacing character except for the uh, classic cartoon series. But this one kind of resembles more like a Super Shredder versus the regular Shredder. Um, so if you guys have any questions or anything about Shredder or any of the Ninja Turtles for this series, go ahead and drop a comment below. Please, please don't forget to comment, subscribe. Or even like the video if you did like it. Tell your friends about Geeky Ant. And until then, my friends, don't forget to geek out. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.